she's paired up with Miguel Becerra, the world number six. Will be the Colombians to get the match underway. Yes, ten. Yes, ten. Well, an impressive start from both teams here. They feel, Nikki, that just a single drop point is going to pile a huge amount of pressure on the first team to drop one. Yes. Yeah, I mean, conditions look pretty good. We can see those flags just in the background there, flapping a little bit, but we're alongside this stadium, and the targets have seemed to be fairly protected. So good conditions, like you say. It's really got to be about holding your nerve here, shooting as many tens as you can, nice. and... There's the first one. So it's all about seizing the opportunity now. Yes. time for the second end of this intriguing battle between Colombia and Mexico with the scores all square at 39 apiece. Yes, ten. That sight that Sarah is looking through there, little fiver pin. Yes, pin. These archers have magnified scopes, so they're looking through a magnified lens. You can see that spirit bubble as well in the front of the sight there, little blue spirit level, just to make sure the bow is upright. Yes, pin. Well, same for Colombia. Three tens and a nine in the first. Three tens and a nine in the second end. Nueve posible diez. Nine possible ten. Hmm. A bit of pressure on Mariana at Bernal now. Yes, ten. So Colombia versus Mexico in this gold medal match. And the Mexicans leading by a yes, single ten. point. That nine was marked up to a ten for Mexico in the previous end. So they hold a slender one-point lead at the halfway stage. 
10, 10. We looked down the range there, we could see a little bit of flapping of those flags on top of the targets, but these compound bows are so fast. You know, these arrows are traveling around 300 feet a second, it's at a 50 meter target, so don't get too knocked about in the wind. It's more if the arch themselves and the line is being moved, which in this case they're not, so still pretty good conditions. So a great reply from Colombia, a perfect 40 for them. Now, can Becerra and Bernal hold their nerve and keep this one point lead? Two tens required. Yes, ten. This is it, the final end of the Compound Mixed Team gold medal match at the Pan American Championships of 2022. And it's over to Sara Lopez. Yes, ten. Nueve, nine. Just didn't look happy with that, did he? I think he knew as soon as he went off. Not enough. Couple of important arrows here for Mexico now. Yes, ten. Another ten would mean the pressure just comes off a little bit for their final two arrows. Just what the doctor ordered. So now a two point lead for Mexico with two arrows per team left. Yes, then. Nine. So drifting off to into the nine for a 156. Now Becerra shooting first in this rotation. A 10 here really will give Bernal a massive opportunity. Yes, 10. Beautiful. So here it is. Huge opportunity here. Eight or more for the Pan American title. Time running out. But puts it into the 10. What a brilliant performance from this Mexican pair of Mariana Bernal and Miguel Becerra. They shot three perfect scores in ends two, three, and four, and dropped just one point in the very first end. And that is what you need to do when you're up against Colombia.